Good morning, friends. It's opening day of duck season. Ah. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Get legal. Oh, <laughs> what do you got in your cart? Federal duck stamp, one year hunting license, and a migratory bird permit. I think there's a waterfowl something. There's one more thing. Why does our government do this? To it's us? like five or ten dollars. Coffee time. I got you. I got you. Do I help out? Dude, I've been listening to this song for the past fucking 24 hours, man. 5.30. We're 55 minutes from hunting life. We still gotta wake up our buddy. Was out with a girl last night in the woods, and we gotta put on all of our hunting stuff. Dude, we gotta go get him from a shack. Oh, a literal Probably shack. laid up with some old squaw. Oh, dude, I can't wait to show him this shack. He's out there in the pan all weekend, riding around on his four-wheeler. And we gotta be, hunt line is 620. We have 50 minutes to get on this dang boat and get in the blind. Good luck, dude. Good luck to us. But hopefully he wakes up. Can he just meet us down there? I Is called him. He ain't answering, bro. We gotta go knock on the door like, like, like. Like Demo. Oh, we're walking up with this. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get him, dude. It's gonna be good. Wait till y'all hey, see the shack. If you see something, just wolf <laughs> Alright, we'll see how this goes. He might not be coming duck hunting this morning. 45 minutes this is all up to him. That, that, that snoozer? What, what's Jocko say? Snoozer or loser? No, the snooze button. It's a dream killer. No, that ain't it. Shit. I bet Bobby comes out here pissed and Ryan's just straight up sleeping. Alright, folks. Is he gonna answer the door? Not seeming too promising yet. If we don't bring him and we annihilate some ducks, I'm gonna be like pissed. Bobby's Where's Bobby's waders? We need those. Piss. Bobby's foot or Ryan Long's foot? That looks like a Bobby foot to me. That ain't no Ryan Long foot. That ain't no that's, Long foot. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, that's Damn. your waders for today, dude. Gang, that's a B foot today. Ryan! The only pretty thing in the yard, Brennan's cutting it up. And I'm trimming his shit, dude. Okay. Everybody okay. needs a good tree trim, and I'm just grabbing these ones on the side. It's gonna be a wet ride. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that, dude. Family, we are back from duck hunting. We did not get skunked on our very first morning. Brennan is the master here, so we're gonna let him show you how we do the clean part. Close, what I'm doing is I'm defeathering it, which what you do is you just pretty much pull them, they come right off. What this does is it leaves that nice skin on the outside. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the knife and run right on one side of this chest plate and on the other and cut 
this breast out. I'm leaving the skin on because it just makes... Because Cameron Haynes does it that way. Because Cameron Haynes taught me. Yeah. <laughs> and it leaves a crispy skin on the outside of your little duck steak. Cook that bitch medium rare. Let her have it. What the are you doing? The way that I defeathered this one, I didn't pull them out perfectly. So they've got these just little pieces of feather. And I don't feel like going through individually and pulling them out. But this one, I took my time on and just did it the right way. And you can see how that skin's gonna turn out really nice when you fry it up. Uh, what he was telling me is that the model, since he didn't do it that well, we're just gonna clean it the way we normally do. That's really good for this video because you'll get to see both ways. Have you eaten it with the skin before? So he's never done it. This is the first time we've done it with leaving the skin on, but now we're gonna show you how we normally do it without taking the feathers off. You, you uh, just take your thumbs right here and you can just pull everything down to the side and it'll pull that breast out. And then once you get the skin cleared, you can just cut that breast right out. So what he's doing is he's just literally pulling the skin apart with his hands. Normally you can do that with the feathers on, but he plucked them thinking that we were gonna leave the skin on. We decided not to, so watch. You can see him pulling that skin right off that breast right there. All right, let's get our knife and try to look professional. I need to get behind you. If you stood like right. So basically you see this bone running right down the middle of the chest. You want to run right down the side of it so you conserve all the meat that you can. Very lightly. And then once you get in there you just kind of run it down there and follow the meat all the way down, all the way down that chest bone. And then once you get to a certain part it'll pull right out. Second hunt of the day, opening day, let's go. We already got a couple in the bag. We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. We're waiting on James right now. And then we're out ya. We're out ya. Ugh. We got our boy James gonna shoot his first duck. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He already got one. You got a lip in, boy? No. All right, B does. Go for Myers, baby. Go Red Knights. Well, we've been sitting about 45 minutes. We've seen one pile of ducks pretty far out, but ain't nothing came to the decoys yet. All right, y'all, we're trying to shoot these mullet. <laughs> jumping out of the water, they're trying us, jumping right in our face. So we're gonna see if we can get one since we're not seeing any ducks. We're not recording. <laughs> what do y'all wanna try? Oh my God. Well, gang, I'm sorry to say, but it looks like this second trip, we're getting skunked. And we didn't hit a mullet either. We didn't shoot at one. I'm sorry.